Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody had a wonderful day yesterday, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. So I did a little bit of work yesterday, <clears throat> not too much, but I went ahead and I got our initial setup put together for producing materials that we're going to need. Uh, and honestly, I, I think I really, really like the way that this works. So this is uh, what we're working on. We're working with I've got it set right now and I need to do another one to make sure that I get the parts the individual parts that I want but we've got iron plates being made we've got uh, steel plates being made I've got gears being made because they they just get pumped out real quick and then I also have uh, copper plates being made and again, they're real quick. Uh, went ahead and set up plastic. And I do have oil cracking set up for all of that. So you know, we're all set, really. Uh, the only thing is that I would like to set up uh, pipes being cast. Also, let's get gonna need to make some more of those uh, and I did go ahead and send my platform uh, in Sano back to Novus I want to check on this because I don't remember if the lava actually depletes over time or not it would be cool if it did and it would make sense if it did but I don't know if it actually does but that being said the biggest thing is I need to start producing stuff and specifically I also need to be able to take out at least one of these worms because of the fact that I'm going to have to expand into its territory. Right now, I need to be able to get out into this area here. Yeah, you can see him there. So I need to be able to take him out, but I want to be able to do so at a distance. So, what I'm, I have a couple of options here. Obviously, I can go ahead and I can make munitions here on Volcanus in the base. I am also loading up my platform, Captain Insano, with a whole bunch of uranium ammu uh, ammunition. So, at the moment, it is just firing off a whole bunch of them. And just going to make sure that I have enough ammunition. And then the other thing that I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and putting... Not that one. Here we go. Uh, putting a stack of the U-235 on that ship, as well as a couple stacks of 238, and sending it with. So that way I can go ahead and see about getting a Kaverix chain started. And if I can get the Kaverix chain started, then I can look at producing uranium uh, ammunition on Volcanus because then I don't have to worry about porting it in. I can just Kaverix it and have plenty there. That really is just going to town. I mean, that's awesome and that's what it's supposed to do, but still. 
Hey, what's up, Charfont? Uh, I'm not doing a particular scenario. I'm just doing free play. But this is the Space Age DLC. So, um, like, this is the, the regular planet here, Novus. Uh, but I am currently on one of the new planets, Volcanus. So, that's the... I need to... <laughs> oh, God, does it add so much. Um, give me a second here. Let's up that to 10k. So, it adds a total of five planets. It adds space travel. It adds space platforms. So, like, this right here is a spaceship. And this ship is what I'm currently using to travel between the planet Novus and the planet Vulcanus. Um, it adds elevated rails. It adds construction quality. Let me hop over to Novus real quick and I'll see if I can show that off where they at. Uh, not there. Here? Where did I... Where am I building those? Ah, here we go. So, here you'll see that I've got the regular... Uh, solar panels but then I've got a couple down here that are green and they are of a higher quality than the regular panels are and that typically means that they will have a slightly higher capacity they may have better stats in terms of survivability it just depends on what the item is and there are multiple levels of quality there goes another rocket So there's just a lot, a lot of stuff that it winds up adding, and I haven't even scratched the surface. I'm at almost 60 hours in this playthrough, and I'm still setting up on my first planet, or like my, my first new planet. So it's one of those that, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> okay. Okay. What I want is specifically, I need to set up two things. I need to start setting up circuits. This is going to get interesting. Um, actually, if I remember correctly, I should be able to... circuits with this? No. I cannot. But I can do copper wire. And I just need molten copper, which... Okay. Yes, please. Okay. That. Come here, beverage. Alright. This needs to be uh, second one? No, I do not. Okay. And the nice thing about Volcanus is that I don't have to sit there and deal with a bunch of, like, solid materials. Most of what I'm dealing with is all liquid stuff. I really do need to redo so much of this, though. I'm sitting here looking at it like I am just wasting tons of space here. But for what I need to do, it is functioning. I need all of that. Ah, 
that's good stuff. So the biggest thing that I am needing to do is where'd that worm go? Calcite down there. Tungsten ore. Which I'm probably going to want that tungsten ore at some point. What do I need for... Cliff explosives. Well, what I need is to be able to make metallurgic science. Which, that's going to be fun. <laughs> now, the question with metallurgic science is, do I make it here on Volcanus, ship it up to a ship, and then have the ship fly it over to my home? and use those labs. Because part of the problem with, with that is that I need to make, I would need to make my ship a little bit more robust. I would need to make it bigger. And I actually have to redesign so much more of it. It's ridiculous. but doable. Give me those two. And let's get the second one here. There we go. Then essentially, I want to take this. Put you across here. Actually, I don't need... Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm being an idiot already. It's too early in the morning. There we go. All right. Now I should be able to run that up there like this. And now we start having the copper wire that I need. That'll take care of the majority of stuff that I need to create. So first off, I need green circuits. Green circuits. And for that, go. Awesome. And then what I'm going to do is hopefully have a second set of this up here so that I can make red circuits out of this. And actually, I might do this like this. Nope. You there, you there. the hell? Oh, I think it's a fucking woodpecker. Okay. Should be able to work around that. 
All right, so I need a line of that. And the nice thing is that I have a lot of leeway here, so. Let's just pick all this up. And then, actually, I think this one, I will drag this across to this side. Because then I'm bringing you like that. And there we go. You go across. Oops. And there, there's the start of our little mini bus. As that is primarily what I need right now is just a mini bus. Just something to get started. That needs plastic. So what I should be able to do is actually these need to move, I think. In favor of Yeah. As much as I would love to use substations for everything, sometimes I just can't. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's, I think that's gonna be the next one on my list, though. doing on okay good <laughs> that's one of those like i was trying to mess around with it as well and i think for setting up the quality system a proper quality system you would want to go ahead and set that stuff up um I don't know, like it's quality, qual what the hell? Yeah, that one is like, that's when it starts getting into mega base levels of bullshittery. Like you, you just need to make it a mega base so that you can go ahead and quality control everything. <laughs> Let's see, okay, uh, Nobis, I need Or, like, honestly, the guys at, at Woob are just absolute mad geniuses. The stuff that they have put into Factorio is absolutely ridiculous. Almost there. Flipper to... Didn't say no. Oh, also, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, work absolutely awesome. Almost tempted to send some of this stuff back. <laughs> I don't necessarily need it. I should also. Now that I'm thinking about it. Grab. No, that's not what I want. 
whatever. a stack of that. And we'll do... Oh yeah, you're not going to have a stack of that now that I'm thinking about it. Because this... go. I think that's everything that I need for Kaverix. We'll find out. And I hope I sent that up to the right one. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. I like how quickly you can switch between different maps as well. That's one of the beauty, uh, beautiful things. It's just how well optimized this damn game is. For everything that's going on, it is surprising how efficient it all works, too. I have... Goody, I can fit more stuff in here. <laughs> Specifically more of those. Oh, I don't have any more. Okay. I'll have to fix that. All right. I need... Okay. That needs to be... What now? Plastic and more copper wire. What I'll do is that. And then yeah, that should work. Excellent. You need to be uh, not there. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. And then you. Okay, there we go. And there goes some red circuits. Awesome. This will make life a little bit easier. I really do like this. Let's head back to... Good Lord, uranium is heavy. Well, nothing to do it, but do it, because I need it. It'll be expensive this one time in order to do, get everything over here. But once that expense is taken care of, then it will be a little bit cheaper in the long run. are we doing on yeah. 
that. Get rid of those. is next. Next I need to set up uh, let's see that to okay that should be pretty straightforward because that's really what this is about is just being able to set up transport belts. Okay you need to be go and then splitters. is that how I want to do it yeah because I can just long arm that let's actually be that. Well, hey there, big guy. How you doing? If I had ammunition, I would shoot at you. But don't worry. I'm coming for you, buddy. <laughs> sitting here taunting a worm um okay I need plates Yeah, I've got foundries going. My lovely little setup here. And it seems to be working all right, too. I, I really like it. Oh, shit, that's right. Come here, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I could also make more foundries in there, but unfortunately, foundries, the problem is that foundries get a little expensive. And especially since I don't have a good uh, access point of tungsten at the moment. What do I need for the belts anyway? It's just iron plates. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, that's one of those things that I want to do is set up my ship to be like to have more capabilities, more defensive capabilities on it. So that way I can actually start using it almost like a train to send stuff back and forth more reliably. need for the big miner anyway. Big mining um, is 
Okay. Oh, electric engine units. Ew, those rows. That is going to be painful. Nice. Surprisingly enough, uh, one of the things that I wound up adding is uh, adding some lasers. And around Volcanus, they actually work incredibly well. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly enough, this actually does pretty well. Well, so I've researched the laser stuff enough. When it's just idling around Volcanus, they work well. They, they work incredibly well because of the uh, additional energy capacity that uh, the solar panels get. So they can actually do sustained damage for longer and then add into that just doing like, you know, short bursts from the turrets when they get a little bit too close. And it works really well when it's just sitting there idling, not doing anything. When it's traveling, it's a little rough, but other than that, Well, that's why I've got them intermingled. They're not like my my um, end all be all, if you will. Now, oh, to back to Novus. Which more do we have? Oh, awesome! Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, I got plenty of space. And, you know, not just accumulators, but also the solar panels. Like I said, this is mostly for just idling around Volcanus. This works incredibly well for that. When it's traveling, it gets a little dicey, but otherwise, you know, it does the job. I do need to completely redesign it, though, so that way I can add in the automatic uh, ammunition feed system since I don't really have anything automatically refilling the turrets at the moment. But that's going to be later on. Okay, um, I need... What do I need? More steel, apparently. Lots more steel. And then more concrete. Novus. That launched. But uh, the reason why I want to send the uranium up is so that way I can get a Kovarix chain going on Volcanus because I want the U-238. Is, it, is that the one? Yeah. Uh, I want the 238 so that way I can make uranium rounds and hopefully use those uh, against the giant worms. Against the, the magma bastards. So I figure with the Kovarix chain making the 238 and the 235, um, I will at least have ammunition that will be able to pack a punch. That's the plan. I don't know what the reality is going to be. What I also want is... I Okay, I can do molten iron. Awesome. Well, I mean, just by adding iron ore, since I have a whole bunch of it right now. <laughs> Let's clear out more of this. And what I want to do 
is let's get up right here. I think is about sort of the edge of my territory. Yeah, that should work. And that actually has plenty of room to build in. I, I can work with that really easily. And what I need is low on tungsten. This is going to be the fun part. That that tungsten ore is right on the edge. What I could do is do I have any I've got no idea. There we go. Now, of course, currently I'm not making enough at the moment, but what I could be doing is there. In fact, that'll work better because then I can use the actual stone for anything that I might need to build, like concrete and such. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we're getting there. Now I can go ahead. get some of our belts back. There we go. And then, as mentioned, yeah, now I need more of the refined concrete, which refined concrete is water, concrete, iron sticks, and steel plate. And I know that actual concrete can be made in one of these with stone brick. No, oh, you need to be concrete. So I need water over here. So that won't be a problem. I just also need stone brick. Well, Suspelux. I don't currently have any stone brick being made. Do I have any on me? I do have some on me. Let's 
So what I need is... I have more stone anywhere. Yes. The answer is yes. I have a lot of stone somewhere. So what I need are probably... Where do I have them? Right there. Okay. Then bring that up. Yeah, that'll work. Then I drop you in there. And then finally, we just got to bring up some water. I have water at over there. Yeah, there we go. We are now making concrete. And then the concrete I can I'm not making, I don't have a foundry making just metal sticks. Do I? I do not. Because I was thinking what I would do is just have one of these right here, like so. You there. And I can do this is this is really silly and probably a little bit wasteful for what I need to do, but I need it for more foundries, so it's a worthwhile endeavor. Um, yeah, this will work. Probably going to want to cast more pipes at some point, too. And then finally, I need... Now I should be making this, which it's a shame that it's not done in the foundry, but it is what it is. This is good news though, because what this means is that I now have all of the parts, I believe, with the exception of the tungsten uh, to make more foundries. Wait, nope, that's not gonna work. Or is it? No. Because I need that there.
There we go. Ahahaha. <laughs> okay, cool. And this poor little thing here. Uh, now I can go ahead and just, oh, I can't add productivity. Oh, really? Well, that sucks. You disappoint me. All right. Novus. So that should be everything that I need for the most part. And as I am making more stuff, awesome. Yes. Boop. Boop. There. It's ugly and it's dirty, but it gets the job done. Yes, there we go. <laughs> this is absolutely. This is what we're looking for. I'm going to look at something um, that is. So I would have to send a bunch of calcite back. I mean, that's doable. There we go. And then let's finish up. How much more we got? Okay, just the belts left. Uh, what I should do is also send some of those. Probably don't need a full stack. What do I have your... Oh, I have it set to 10. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't need the full stack. That should be good. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's not necessarily about pretty. It, it is about the functional. That's really what I need right now is mostly functional. I need it to work. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you, that's just what you got to do. All right, next up, I need to mention. Uh, Or just got to watch out for the burning trees. I was talking with my mom about this last night and the fact that I've been really, really enjoying the sort of new method of construction and the new method of thinking about factory construction that Volcanus brings with it in that it is familiar in how you achieve your goal, 
but it's also different enough that it requires that you think about it slightly different as well. And I really do appreciate that from a gameplay perspective in just how much extra work is going into this how much more thought you have to put into your construction. Oh, goody. I can. Grab some circuits here. Oops. And I just need to grab. Yay. All right, so you need to be iron plate and gears. I should probably also move this back a little bit. Yeah, it, and that's one of those things that a lot of the DLC or expansions that come out these days don't always hit the mark when it comes to expanding upon what is already there usually it's just here's like <laughs> fair enough but it's like here's more of just the same thing with a different skin um but they don't really innovate too much they you have the opportunity of doing more with your game and instead, you're just like, well, here's stuff that didn't make it into the original game. Well, that's not any fun. I, I don't necessarily want what didn't make it. I want more of what you wanted to do with it. I want to see the stuff that, uh, you know, ideas that were unable to be introduced for one reason or another. either because limitations of technology or what have you. I want something different than just, you know, different skins <laughs> and cut content. And, you know, honestly, even, even that right there, even with a lack of sleep, that in a way speaks to how good this is. That it requires that you actually be able to focus a little bit more on what's going on. Like that was, I think, part of my biggest problem was that I was starting to get too sort of used to it. That's the, the way that I feel with space engineers right now part of my burnout is that i am just too used to the game i've done it for so long that it just doesn't hold the same sense of wonder that it used to all right in all fairness i don't need yellow belts i want nothing but blue belts in this So I'm not going to bother trying to keep them. Hey, buddy. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so they seem fairly docile until I imagine you start actually like digging on their terrain. I want to get some more of the landfill done uh, primarily so that way I can gotcha because what I want to do is get ooh, ooh. Uh, foundations needed to fill hot lava oh foundation what foundation What is this bullshit? What foundation are you talking about? Oh. Okay. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> I want to, damn it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I can probably get away with that. Can I, and more specifically, So I need a, a I need to have a big mining drill to be able to do that. Okay. Duly noted. You can almost soft lock soft lock yourself on here if you're not careful I mean yeah you can still get tungsten from rocks but like it's like I said it, it's you can almost do it It's one of those that uh, if you're not paying attention and aren't actually thinking about it. Is that another one? Oh, well, that's good. Hey, there goes another one. I'm also glad that radar dishes don't set them off either. Okay, so just being on foot, not a big deal. Good to know. Site there. I'm starting to think that one of the other planets probably would have been a better idea. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. This is kind of working out, but man, is it burdensome. Like that, ooh, and I need Yeah, like I could see 
honestly, I could see why either, well, any of the planets are going to be decent to start with. It just depends on what technology you want first out of it. Um, what am I after? Oh, yeah. Drop off more of this shit. Aha! So it did attack them. Okay. Yeah, it just straight up destroyed them. Got it. They were sacrificial. The entire point was to see what would happen. And now I know. No, don't. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> you morons. How many? Well, lost two bots. Damn it. <laughs> Excuse me. What I want to do is let's put that there out of the way. Oh, yeah. Um, over to that. I still wish there was a technology for increasing the amount of rockets that could be pre-built. Don't really need that or that. do a couple more of those and then that should be what we need yeah we should have everything we need at that point awesome okay so for this I need Plates and there we go. Wait, that one's off. Don't like that. There we go. I mean, I'll put up with it if I have to, but okay. So I need. that no do that to give myself a little bit more room there we go and then there This is where it's going to get a lot more entertaining. Because I need... Let's do it like this. Um, we'll 
We'll think about that in a second. I need... That. does holy shit <laughs> okay those are made <laughs> holy shit did not realize it was gonna be that quick um yeah so there's that um let's see uh <laughs> wow they do not fuck around that's for certain I need let's go here no that's wrong this is wait uh, I need I need for the red ones anyway I still need green circuits. Okay, so I will actually move this one to up here. Uh, red circuits are, or not red circuits, red belts are those and that. Okay. I should almost actually do... Um, where am I at with one of those? Okay. Okay, I really do need to be that close. Okay. What am I missing from you? Just more circuit switches, more of that. Okay. I'll just take those. Uh, don't need all that. There we go. I need Yeah, that'll work. Although we're getting really to the wire here on parts for this. So have to see how this goes. But I should have just enough to get that going.
almost have what I need. And what do I need for blues? Uh, it's just that and red circuits and the fast splitters. Okay, cool. And I just need to bring up yeah that's got to change what I need to do is make this two individual lines There we go. And there, that's what I'm after. A little bit further than that. Then I want to be able to bring this up here, like so. There we go. No, uh, no, get back here. And then I will most likely have to change that a little bit, but right now. And there we go. Those are all getting made. Okay, cool. And then finally, fast belts, which the only thing I need for fast belts. Oh, yes, is going to be lubricant, which I have somewhere around here. At least I thought I did. Yeah, I do. Uh, I don't have any. Let's make one of those or make some of those. Awesome. out here like so we're we doing on power anyway oh we're fine and you what else do I need for two more of these not that 
that. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> I almost don't need uh, Captain Insano to bring out more belts, but I mean, it might as well since it's on its way or will be on its way. Don't need that right now. Let's see if I can find some more juicy, juicy rocks. And the answer is yes. Once I get this tungsten. God, those foundries are so nice. It'll be nice to get tungsten automated at some point. So that way I can actually start like making stuff automatically. That should get me enough tungsten for a couple more, and then we will have our belt scenario taken care of. There. Also, I need to go ahead and take out the go there. Don't need that anymore. Let's drop that off. And hopefully... Yes. Awesome. There we go. And then put box and box. And I know you have no robo port. Now you do. Not 4,000. <laughs> 400. And you become underground belts. And there we go. That takes care of, or will take care of, my biggest concern, which is belt automation. I need, I love how quickly it actually spits out the uh, gears and just like get them all out there. Let's see, do I have, awesome, and then that'll be the last one. Uh, at the moment, um, you had mentioned that you could just drop it into the lava, so that's what I've got set up. So for some of it, I'm feeding back in for stone bricks, obviously, so that I can do concrete. Uh, and then the rest just spits down into the lava down here. So anything that is waste, just get rid of. So that was, that was a good suggestion. That was a good pointer, uh, letting people know about the fact that you could just spit lava out like that or spit uh, stuff out into the lava like that. Too bad you can't 
mix it back into a foundry to make more lava. Or like, I don't know. That would be cool if you could do that though. that actually make them slower? Oh, gotcha. I haven't reached that point yet. That is so weird. Okay, yeah, I need those back. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't reached those point or that point yet. So it the, the throughput isn't a problem. But I think at some point, you know, it, it may wind up becoming a problem. But for now, it, it just works. <laughs> okay, and then be that. Actually, no. You to be right there. And then you get to be that. Finally, there and there. Oh, that's right. And I actually need red circuits for you as well. So what I will do uh, there we go Let's then bring you back up here like so yes Fortunately, we're making more of those. And you there. Awesome. Okay. Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, I'm on your land. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to be counting coup with somebody like that, but... That does hurt. Okay, that's good to know. setup is working ish <laughs> it's not fantastic but it works and then the only other thing is that I really should make a second one for gears but let's do it that way because I don't necessarily need yeah You're missing out on Tungsten and again. Okay. There we 
go. And then I just need more tungsten. Last one, or are you still you still have a whole bunch that you're trying to send? Got it. How many more are in there? Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. That is going to be a while. Need. It's one of the few times where I actually have to go out and collect as many rocks as possible. Oh, you're still, you're within the RoboPort range. I was like, wait a minute, where are you guys coming from? have left to send. to try and take one out for the first time. Let's see what sort of see what sort of abuse that they can wind up taking. I think I can actually go ahead and yeah I can go take these out. I don't necessarily need it. Uh, I'll keep the rest here. Tungsten carbide is, it's kind of a pain in the ass in a way to deal with. Only because of the fact that it kind of requires so much of it. Double up a little bit on that. Coming from... Oh, I see. Okay. There. And that... There. That should help. Increase our lubricant production. And there's the second one. Awesome. Oh, more of that. I'm going to have so much extra crap here. It's 
going to be kind of ridiculous. How are we doing on steam? Ooh, plenty of steam. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah, sometimes the game just does not like to spawn things in a nice way. That's like, oh, sorry, did you actually expect to have a good time? There it is. There we go. That's better. That should help. What are we doing on molten iron? We are doing fantastic. Awesome. All right, so I've got plenty of belts going. Let's finish getting this done. Shouldn't have too many more left. Don't need any more than that. We should be good. Okay, there we go. That was the last one. Uh, oh yeah, that's the other thing I can go ahead and hopefully automate is... Uh, go ahead and start doing the ammunition while I'm at it. Mostly good. Like usual, not enough of something. But for a down and dirty base, that's really kind of like the best case scenario is <laughs> just working with this. Okay, next up. I need ammunition. Let's see. Ammo is going to be iron plates, copper, and steel. And then that. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to set up that, to that, into that. actually go down this way. And finally that. Okay. So it's a real close, but we should be all right. That is kind of right on the edge there, as far as I can tell. I might pull it back, we'll find out, but I kind of wish I could zoom in my mini map a little bit. Like that is right on the edge of their territory. So what I want is um, 
Oops. That. And Oh, that's absolutely going to be in their territory. So let's not do that. That's requester chest. I want to request uranium 238 when we eventually get there. Then you just need to be copper and steel. Excuse me, not copper and steel. Yeah, copper and steel. Um, she, you there. doing there we go and steel where are you steel? here you are instead. we will have in a little bit. Awesome. And I will be able to start. Hopefully I will be able to start the Cobra X chain. And then from there we can start working on getting um, the ammunition going. I don't know what I'm going to do with the 235 though. Uh, aside from, I guess, technically, well, no, because I really don't need to start nuclear up. So it's one of those that uh, may wind up just throwing the, the 235 away. <laughs> oh, isn't that a dilemma? What do I do with this nuclear stuff that I actually need? And specifically... Am I going to have enough steam? I should be fine. And 63 megawatts of power. Okay, cool. Of course, that's also with the solar panels. So let's increase our storage capabilities. Just make sure we have lots of extra power. And then the final step is I need to make one of you. which is going to be painful. And I need 
need molten iron. That part's going to be pretty easy. Actually, I may want to do this in a different location where I'm actually bringing in some stuff. Some proper stuff. That reminds me, I need... More specifically, what I should do... I don't know yet. Figure it out. I don't need those since I'm now making everything that I need. Which, yay! <laughs> That is honestly a wonderful feeling when you finally get something set up. When you get some automation going. Let's swap these out. Part of the problem is that I'm not producing enough of the of these guys, the gears. I should be, should be producing a ton of them. Sometimes it's just not enough. I need electric motors, which are electronic circuits and engines. Okay, that's... not terrible. actually have some of that coming up here. The only thing I would need is to bring some steel up. And then I could do that. Oh, and then of course I also need the actual mining heads. Ugh, I hate that shit. <laughs> this, is, this is where it starts to get complicated, annoyingly so. And I still also have to bring in whatever. Let's just ditch that. Awesome. Okay. Captain Insano, you'll get your last. really ought to just keep making more awesome And cool. I think we're all good. Oh yeah, you needed some accumulators. Where do I have those being made? Uh, up here, I think. Did I have? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I didn't. Why 
am I not making more? More specifically, why am I not grabbing more? Oh, I know why. Because I don't have it set up to do that. Never mind. Durr. I would imagine so. Like, once I actually get a chance to set up all the quality stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> I kind of want to do a creative save and just play around with different setups and whatnot and just figure out what some of the alt, uh, what the, um, ultimate efficient setups and builds are going to wind up looking like. Just to see what a what a, a creative ship would wind up actually looking like and, and how big and awesome it can be, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm not Honestly, I'm not surprised. <laughs> These days, it is ridiculously easy. I saw uh, a video that was talking about that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's much easier when you can just build everything easily, but... I don't know, it could be useful, and especially if you have a more automatic base. Okay, I think that's everything. Everybody's good and happy. They're all fueled up. Still not too heavy, which, yay. All right, so station Vulcanus and go let's see how this is well I mean I already know how well it's going to work While I'm in the middle of flying, turrets are, turrets just work best, but just idling around Volcanus, the laser turrets are usually enough. So you just need to make sure that these forward guns aren't running out of ammunition too quickly. And there we go. Safe and sound. Everybody else looks to be good. That's a good point. I do it like this out of habit anyway, though. I can't help it. Uh, it's just one of those. I just, I just do. <laughs> you know? That's right. Get it. Get it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's send down. Hold on. 
that. Send down those. Those. Um, the uranium ammo I was launching up because I needed it. <laughs> I've got, I have, like, if I go back, I have such a stockpile of this crap. Like, I, I have all of that, plus I have more here. I just, I'm trying to use up all of my 238 because I have so much of it stockpiled. So, <laughs> I'm like, I might as well. So the reason why that I have that much is because of the fact that I have all of this going. I just, I'm just letting it run. So I have two chests for 235. Yeah, well that's, and that's what I'm gonna be setting up here is Kovarix. Um, where did my, I know I sent it. What the hell? I know I brought some. What happened to the 238 that I sent? I didn't grab it already. Oh, shit. I know what did. Damn it. Okay, I was like, where did that go? And now I, yeah. Uh, let's, make, let's make that. Okay. <laughs> I got real nervous real quick. Let's grab all of you and you and you and all of you. Drop all of that off. <laughs> all right, man. Have a good one, Brockstar. Stay out of trouble there, buddy. I need to set up Kovarix processing. That requires... Let's bring this over here. Okay, so I need 40... This could be a problem. Well, no, not necessarily. Yes, necessarily. Okay, so I can do Kvarix Enrichment, which I put in 4235 and 5238. What I get back is 41 of the 235, and I only get back two of the 238, which means I'm going to be using up more 238 than I put in, or not getting as much out as I put in. Then if I... Um, yeah, that I would be at a deficit. So I need to figure out a way to bring a whole bunch of 235 with <laughs> like a ridiculous amount because I can do this um, I guess technically I could do that and I might get some extra out of it 
So what I would want to do is let's do this. And then So as long as I have no, um, is greater than 40, is that the way I want it? Yeah, read ingredients. I think that's correct. Okay, let's try... Try this. Um, okay, yeah, that should work. My God, I don't know if this is actually how it's supposed to be. Basically, what I want for it is that it will recycle the amount that it needs before it takes any out. This needs to be that. And then Read the contents of the machine. Read ingredients. Um. Nope. I'll figure it out eventually. I should do is
but I'm still not pulling anything out. What if I do this? Rules zero. And then Wait a minute. No. Use it there. Use filter. Okay. This is hard. Because I need, well, I don't need that much. But this is definitely not gonna work. Okay, so, so what I need to be able to do is unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do. What I want to do is be able to do Kvarik's Enrichment here. It's just not going to work though because unfortunately I'm not producing enough of the 238 that I need for the ammunition. I would basically have to ship it all in by hand. Which is doable to a certain extent but I don't hate myself that much. So I think instead what I'll do is I'll work on that later. Not gonna do what I want it to do. That's fine. I'll just put it all in there. Okay, next up, I need I need to make turrets. What do I need for turrets? I see. There we go. That was a small little uh, faux pas. There we go. There we are. That's better. I was wondering why things weren't working the way that they were supposed to. Okay. What I need now. Is to make some turrets. Or turrets. What do I need? 
copper, iron, and gear wheels. Well, that is right at the edge there. Okay. Let's do this. And I'm just going to do, you know, I've, I know I have a whole bunch of gear wheels being made elsewhere, but this is just going to be easier for what I need to do. And then there we go. Uh, no, left and proper plates. There we go. Excellent. And now we just tie that off. Let's say a hundred. There we go. That should make sure that we are going to have. We're good for now. Okay. So what I want to do is kind of, well, <laughs> I kind of need to antagonize the big guy over in this territory um, so that I can hopefully kill him. How many turrets do I have? 41. And... Up off that. Okay. What I want to do... In fact, I'm going to let that just fill with ammo. I'm not even going to worry about it being like overfilled or anything like that. Uh, but the reason why I want to make sure that I have this taken care of. Oh, you can kind of see the reflection um, of my engineer in the lava. That's cool. Well, that's not that hard to get to. Actually, it's pretty easy. Let's just grab all of this real quick. And then what I want to do is set up. See if <laughs> let's just see what sort of damage that is going to do to the big guy. Uh, and then I'll make sure I had turned my bots off so that they're not like trying to constantly <laughs> repair while getting damaged. But we'll see. 
Oh, nice. Where is it coming from, though? That's what I want to know. Some more calcite down there. That's cool. kind of want to do is actually space these out a little bit, I think. area uh, for area of effect damage All right, where's this dude at there it is holy shit holy shit okay god damn <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> May have been expensive as all hell, but I tell you what, worth it. I'll be damned. Oh, and of course that damages the bots. Of course it does. Oh, I don't have any repair packs on me, I just realized. Okay. So, despite how expensive it is to ship uranium rounds holy crap do they do a ton of damage to those absolutely worth the amount of time and effort i kind of wish i was zoomed in a little bit more on that one but no um that's doing I was trying to clip something um, what's that why is it acting like What the hell is going on? Anyway. That's what? What is that button? You know what? Sometimes Twitch is a pain in the ass to figure out. Anyway, here we are finally actually have access to tungsten something that we learned uranium rounds are really really good against those especially if you have a large amount of turrets that are capable of dealing with it so really what I need to do is come up with some sort of dragon's tooth setup of um, turrets, uranium turrets. I need to start bringing more uranium turrets with, is really what I need to do. Now, I also need to make one of 
those. I need liquid iron or molten iron, I should say. Which I has bunch of iron there. What is that button supposed to do? I'm still broadcast. doing this now for a couple of years and I still don't know what all the buttons are for. Edit stream info. Manage. Anyway. I think that's supposed to be a fur clip, but I don't know what it actually does. Um... I need, I need bolt iron. Would be nice if I stopped popping every five minutes. Oh, nope, nope. I don't want to run it into the water. It's up there. Okay. And then we just finish this off right here. Now I need acid which is come from over there Oop. not far enough oh well There. God damn it. Got saddled with this damn cold. Awesome. Now I need electric motors which there a lube I actually already have some over here this way because I just need what, how many? 10 electric engine units. And I could probably grabbing some of those. Oh wow. Yeah. 400 of those ought to be fine. Don't really need 400 need a hundred. Same with you. What are you missing? Oh, you're missing. Ah. I 
There we go. Now I need... Wow, Cruz, get a brain. It might actually be beneficial. There. So now all I need is... Oh, that's what else I need. And I should be able to make my first one. It'll be awesome. What button is that in? That is going to annoy the hell out of me. steel I have no idea how to make tungsten steel how do I do that that is tungsten plate which is just molten iron and tungsten ore awesome. and I have my first one which We'll just continue to do this by hand because it'll just be easier for now. <laughs> As I need more, I will add more. Let us, however, grab some more of this stuff. And come down here. And we now have access to what will be our first patch of tungsten. I need one of the big drills. Wow. Yes. run this up to the base. And there we go. Our first bit of tungsten is being mined. that wait you won't cross that gap are you shitting me oh under uh, yeah okay I know why wow I can't even get underground belts to go through there that is gonna be fun
There we are. Oops. And then, oops. And there we go. All righty. you and that is our first bit of tungsten coming up which though it's been kind of a short one today i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today um just try and get some more rest so that i can get back to being 100 percent because man this cold is kicking my ass i will probably also poke around this a little bit more kind of want to redo most of it and then i've also I'm also going to need to bring back a lot more uranium ammunition. Oh, I tell you what, seeing how quickly uranium ammo went right through one of those magma worms, one of the, uh, well, what are they, the destroyers or whatever, it went through it real quick. So uranium ammo, while expensive to transport from Novus to Volcanus, that, I think, is going to be the way to go for the future, at least the uh, immediate future, and especially to clean up a lot of this area and get some usable space back. The other thing that I want to look at is uh, being able to get, uh, let's see. Mostly, I want to be able to get the science packs going so that way I can get some of the cliff explosives. And I'd like to see what the... Well, this is where it's going to get interesting is trying to get all the science packs done up anyway. That's going to be it for today. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. As always, thank you all for joining me on these misadventures. So glad to have you guys along for the ride. You all have a wonderful day. Stay out of trouble. And remember, if you get caught, I don't know you. I will catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>